All right, welcome to this video. Uh, in this, I'm going to go over some mono clan based infinite draw combos. Now, there's quite a bit of combos in Monster Train. Some are just very strong synergies that get you good kills. Some are, in these cases, infinites. Um, as you pair up the clans, you can rotate out and in different infinite combos. However, I'm going to focus on these mono clan ones because if you are in that clan, you can get it no matter who you are paired with. Now, for these, not all clans have them. So Awoken has an infinite draw combo using Awoken's Rail Spike. Uh, Stygian Guard has an infinite combo as well. Actually has a couple, so I'll go over those. Um, Melting Remnant has what I call the Votaberry combo. And Wormkin has a Wormkin Etchings based infinite draw combo. And then finally, there is actually a clanless one using Excavated Embers. So I'll go over all of these different infinite combos that are mono clan or clanless. Um, one thing to note is that if you're doing an infinite draw, you do need some way to actually win the game. Uh, this is easiest in something like Stygian, where you can get infinite amount of encant. Um, otherwise, you need a way to draw a zero damage so or zero ember source of damage, or have an artifact that deals damage as you do all these draw combos. All right, with that, let's go ahead and start looking at these different infinites. All right, so I'm going to start with probably what's the most well-known infinite draw combo. Uh, this one involves Awoken's Rail Spike. So with this Awoken's Rail Spike, what you do need is first off an internal stone in it uh, for this mono clan Awoken combo. So the internal stone means it's not going to get consumed. From there you have other options. Um, if you have something like Value Stone, that's going to put it at a plus one draw. If you have Lightstone Casing and two minus ones, the same thing, or the minus two and a minus one Ember cost, it's going to be plus two draw. Or you can have the first Hell Pack, which adds plus three to your draw. Uh, so what you do is you're going to upgrade one of your Woken Rail Spike and you're going to duplicate it. So what you have is you play the Woken Rail Spike and you draw the other one in your deck. Now, by itself, that doesn't do anything. What you do need is some other source of payout. So in this case, a Glimmer could work. So if I Glimmer and then draw two, I redraw the Glimmer, which costs zero, and I play it, redraw it. So this gives me a source of damage in the infinite. Now you can do other things, I can drip fall, etc. Just to play out cards. Now, one other option, instead of duplicating an Awoken's Rail Spike with Eternal Stone in it, uh, you can play Awoken's Rail Spike and have the Twin Stone in it. So the Twin Stone gives you a spell chain copy. So with the spell chain copy, you can redraw the original one as long as it has minus or plus enough to the draw. So this is the, like I said, most well known and the simplest of the infinite draw combos. For this mono clan infinite draw combo, we are looking at Stygian. Uh, in this combo, what you need is a duplicated deep offering with internal stone. Now you have two options here to make this an infinite. You can either get light stone casing and get the cost of the deep offering set to zero, or you can get kinstone totem. So that way, each time you discard a card, you get ember and the cost of the deep offering is refunded. Now you do need a very small deck with this as with most infinite draws. So what I have is I have two other cards, my two dead weights, because it's coming to 25, and two deep offerings. Now, when I do this, the deep offering will play. 
discard my hand, and I'll draw a new hand, including another deep offering. So that's the infinite combo. Now the payout for this is pretty simple. You're Stygian, so you have many, many different payouts. You have all the encant units, those uh, infinite spells, gives you infinite encants. If you have the Kinstone Totem or a zero cost damage spell, you can play a card or multiple cards each time. The other, of course, is offerings. So the Crypt Builders have offerings when I discard them. From my deep offering, I play both of them. And that's usually the best payout is something like Crypt Builder to do a lot of damage the quickest with this infinite draw combo. So this is the deep offering infinite draw combo for Bono Stygian. This is the second infinite draw combo using uh, Mono Stygian. This one does require a couple more pieces. So what you do need is you need an offering monument with endless. You need to duplicate that. Uh, from there, you do need two very specific artifacts. You do need a founding seal and the forever flame. Now, typically when something dies with Endless and its health gets reduced to zero or less, it goes back to one. This would normally only allow us to get one encant draw off of that, but if I play that because of Founding Seal, so by the way, in my deck I have another Offering Monument with one health and another Frozen Lance. Since I have the Founding Seal, I do draw two cards instead of just one. So this gives me an infinite where I just play out the Offering Monument for free because of Forever Flame, draw two cards off a zero cost spell because of Founding Seal. Now this zero cost spell can be anything since I have Tethys Titan's Bane, uh, the Conduit Path, my Frozen Lance cost of zero, so I can just replay the Frozen Lance. Uh, if the boss was on this floor, I could get the Flying Kill. Um, this could be any zero cost spell, it doesn't really matter. If I had another encant unit, that would also cause me to encant that for, once again, more payout on this infinite draw combo. So this is the second infinite draw combo for Monostygian, this time involving Offering Monument. All right, for this combo, it is the Votaberry combo. So in this, I have Votaberry and a Hallowed Halls that cost zero each. Uh, Votaberry is nice. It has Extinguish Draw 1. If you have the Waxer Snuffer, that means it will draw 2 each time it dies. So I'm going to do, if you look at my deck, I have a Votaberry. And in my discard pile, I have a second Hallowed Halls. So I play Votaberry, play the Hallowed Halls, kills them, and draws 2, being a Votaberry in the Hallowed Halls. Now, once again, if we check, I still have a Hall of Halls and a Votaberry left, so I replay it and I redraw my first copy of Votaberry and Hall of Halls. So this combo does involve needing two Votaberries, two zero-cost ways to kill them, and the Waxer Snuffer to get the infinite draw. Uh, with the Hall of Halls version of this, you can also increase the attack of other units. You notice I'm doing a little bit of damage because I have the Exploding Candle from my units with Burnout. Now, of course, there are other things you can do with this combo. Um, these are just a couple of ones. I also have the artifact that gives me five gold on unit death, so I can get as much gold as I want. Subsuming Blade also works in place of Hollowed Halls in this combo if it costs zero, because uh, then you can just each time use the Subsuming Blade on your Votaberry to kill it causing your attack to go up by three on the blade each time until you have a giant blade that can kill anything. Okay, this is the mono uh, melting remnant infinite draw combo. For this infinite draw combo, this is a worm kin combo that you can do uh, with any clan because you only need worm kin cards. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you do technically need five different pieces to uh, make this combo go off. Now, two of those pieces can be duplicated. So what you have, what you really need, is you need ambient charge, 
So that is the infused, in this case, uh, extract three. It has consume on it, which is needed. Draw three and apply consume to the cards drawn. Then you have Wormkin etchings, return five consume cards to your draw pile. So you need one of those in hand, preferably both costing zero. And then in your consume pile, you need the same thing. So to get consume on these, there is of course Wormkin cards that do that. You can also draw them with their own ambient charges. But what happens is that my fifth piece in this one on the bottom floor is carving Karuska. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Wormkin etchings. That's going to put those two on the back on top of my deck. And then I'm going to play the ambient charge and redraw them. Then I play the Wormkin etchings play the ambient charge and redraw them. Now, since I have the Kruska, this is keeping me charged Echoes neutral as well as gaining me Ember. If you don't have the Carving Kruska, what you can do is you can have a floor with a permanent charged Echo, either from the card that gives it or from Case of Divinity, and you can still do the same thing. That way you'll always have the correct amount of charges to do the extract. Now, it is a lot easier if they are both infused, so having a permafrosted bounty echoes does make the combo a little bit easier to pull off. The other thing you can do, since this does draw three, is you can play another zero cost uh, consume spell. So I'm gonna play this proclamation, then I'm gonna return, then I'm gonna draw three. And so that just gives me another piece in the combo in order to get the kill. Of course, something like Trader's Quill or anything else also works instead. So yeah, that's the Wormkin Etchings Ambient Charge Infinite Draw combo. Lastly, we have the Clanless Infinite Draw combo. Now to get this, you need the Concealed Caverns event called Ember Deposits. Ember Deposits gives you the choice of either getting this abandoned stave or getting several calcified embers into your deck. If you hold those calcified embers for, I believe it's two fights, uh, you get excavated embers into your deck instead. What you then do is you put a remove consume on excavated ember. So it's gain two ember, draw a card. Uh, you play it once, I had no card so it doesn't draw anything. If you duplicate it, the one that has Remove Consume from Eternal Stone, now I can just loop the two of them. This is just going to give me Infinite Draws and Infinite Ember. Um, infinite Draws and Infinite Ember is not going to do anything for you unless you are in, of course, Stygian. There are a lot of good X spells. So you can do this and then just do an X spell for 99 damage each round. That works. The other version of this combo, instead of having Excavated Ember uh, that in two of them with the Eternal Stone, you can get one with Eternal Stone and a Twin Stone. So this is going to draw first, since I have nothing in the deck, it's going to draw nothing. But then the copy version is going to draw the original. Now, since this is two draws off of what's only one card in your deck, if you had a, another spell in there, basically any spell uh, that you can repeat its effect for benefit, you then have a payout in any clan to go with this infinite draw and infinite ember. So yeah, excavated ember if you get that is the way to get an infinite draw and infinite ember combo in any clan.